Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for CuCl2 plus KOH. This is copper 2 chloride plus potassium hydroxide. So with net ionic equations, the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see right away that I have a chloride here, but I have two of them here. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of the potassium chloride. Now I have two potassiums and two chlorides. So I only have one potassium here. Let's put a 2 here. That balances the potassiums. I have two hydroxides. And here I have two hydroxides, one copper and one copper. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can balance the net ionic equation. First, we need to write the state for each substance. That'll look like this. So compounds with chloride, they're in general soluble. So we write aqueous after those. Compounds with potassium as well, those are soluble. And potassium hydroxide, this is a strong base, so it's going to be soluble. Hydroxides in general, unless it's a strong base, don't dissolve very well. They're insoluble. And copper hydroxide, copper 2 hydroxide, it's insoluble. So we write an S after it to show that it's a solid. These two substances react, falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate, as a solid. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. And that looks like this. So we split all of the aqueous compounds apart into their ions. But for the solid, the copper 2 hydroxide, we don't split that apart. In net ionic equations, we don't split apart solids. Now that we have the complete ionic equation, we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So when I look at the reactants here, I see two potassium ions. Two potassium ions in the product. So I can get rid of those I have two of these chloride ions here in the reactants and two in the products. Let's get rid of those spectator ions. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for CuCl2 plus KOH. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for copper 2 chloride plus potassium hydroxide. You note that charge is balanced. We have a 2 plus, and then we have a 2 times 1 minus. 2 plus, 2 minus, that gives us a net charge of 0. Copper 2 hydroxide, that's a neutral compound, net charge of zero. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for CuCl2 plus KOH. Thanks for watching.